Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be upgrading my Synology DS918 Plus NAS to the DSM-7 system. So I've made a number of videos on the Synology NAS, and I'll put a link below to my Synology playlist where you can find those other videos. So if you're not familiar, DSM is the Disk Station Manager. It's kind of like the OS or the interface that runs the NAS. So I'm mostly making this video so people can watch through this and see what to expect if they want to do this on their own NAS. So I'm currently logged into my NAS. You can see I do have a little attention here. It says I'm running out of disk space. I do have two terabytes left. So I'm not super worried about that right now and I could change that threshold. But before you upgrade any system, typically you want to make sure you have backups that are up to date. So I use Hyper Backup, and I have green checks on all these. And then you probably would actually want to go in and make sure the data is there, verify your backups. But you want to have a plan if something goes wrong. Like if you lose the whole NAS because of this, you want to be able to access your data or have a plan in place. And I'm doing this in the middle of the day, but I'm not doing this for a business or something. So if this was for a business, you might want to do it on a weekend and then have a plan if it doesn't come back up. So I'll go into the control panel and I have these icons on my DSM desktop here. If you don't, you can go up here to the upper left and they should be in here. Now I'm on advanced mode, so I see lots of options here. Yours might look like this if you're on basic mode. It doesn't matter, the option we're going to be using is on both. So I'll go to update and restore. That's this circular icon here. Click on it. It says my current version is 624, which is right here in the middle. And it says DSM 7.0.1 offers better user experience along with brand new features. So there are release notes here. I'll click on that. That is opening up in a new window. So we'll look through those in a minute. Let's hit the cookie warning. So I'll leave that window there. I'll come back here and I'm going to start to download this. So while that's downloading, let's look at the other screen. And this is going to be the release notes for it. So let's see, that was six. I'll go to the top. So this is an update. And actually this just came out today, 701 update two. I think this is the original 701. Let's see. Yes. So this is the first 701 here. It's 701-42218. So you want to read through these notes and I would read through all of it. It's not that long and it has lots of information in here. I'm not going to go over every single thing, but there are a couple things to take note of is once you upgrade, you can't downgrade. It gets rid of some things. Let me see. I think there was an example in here somewhere. Okay. So under DSM here, it says USB devices, Wi-Fi dongle, Bluetooth dongle, 3G, 4G dongle, USB DAC speaker, and digital TV dongle are no longer supported. So if you use and rely upon one of those devices, Devices, then you should seriously consider not upgrading it. It's probably not worth it unless you have some other plan in place. It looks like here it ends support for EXT3. So if you're using that, you would want to figure out a plan. So there's a number of different notes here that you need to read through and you may need to change some things in before you upgrade or maybe not upgrade at all. And this talks about the packages. So this is a big one here. Synology Moments and Photo Station will be upgraded to and merged as Synology Photos. So if you use one of those, you'll end up in Synology Photos in the end. And then it talks about Cloud Station Server is going to Synology Drive Server. And I've already done a video. There should be one of my playlists, I think, where I migrated some of that. And it talks about other packages that are no longer supported. And here's some new things down here and some fixed issues. So you want to read through all of those and then decide if the upgrade is for you. Close that. We'll come back here. It's been downloaded. I'll hit upgrade. Now I'm going to be speeding the video up a lot here. Okay, so we got a message. It says during the update, the following services tasks will be stopped. Are you sure you want to continue? So I do have virtual machines running and I'm okay if those get shut down. Now here's another thing to point out. If you have virtual machines running, you really should back those up too separately if you need to. So I'll hit next. It says before you upgrade, reserve time to complete the update. It takes 20 to 40 minutes. A package update can take more than an hour. So if you have more packages, it's probably going to take longer. And I'm guessing some packages take longer than others. So it's something to keep in mind. And it has other notes on here. Some of these were probably in the release notes. Like third party packages, things like that. So I'll hit, I understand and agree to the update. I'll hit next. It says, please do not shut off or power off the system during the update. Do you want to continue? I'll hit yes and I'll let this run. So something to consider is that you don't want the power to go out. Now I do have this hooked up to a UPS and, and I have a video on my playlist about hooking up a UPS and that's a backup power system. So if the power went out in my house right now, this would be able to complete the update and it wouldn't corrupt the system. So I always recommend having UPS on any system that has vital data on it. So I'll let this run here and then we'll come back when it's finished. Okay, so we're at a new login screen here. I'll enter in my username. I'll enter in my password. Now it says update your data and settings. Okay, that's finished. It says what's new in DSM-7. It says streamlined and more intuitive, easier management and maintenance, faster and more secure. I'll hit start. 
So it's asking which services I want to enable. It has Active Insight, which looks to be for monitoring your NAS. We have Configuration Backup, so that backs your configuration up to the cloud. And then it has Secure Sign-In Service, which is for two-factor authentication. So I'm not going to turn those on now. So I'll just say Skip for now. This says I can change them later in the control panel. So I'll say No Thanks. So now it says Device Analytics. I'll say No Thanks there. It says take a quick tour, so I'll say go. So we're on DSM help, it says click a topic to learn what DSM has to offer. So now this is talking about Active Insight, email notifications, which I have turned on, and mobile notifications, which I don't have turned on. So let's close this out, and it has a new update option, so I'll close that. So we have a little notification on the virtual machine manager, I'll open that up. I think I only had one running. It says repair required, I'll hit that. I'll let that run. I'll upgrade, I'll hit next, I'll hit done. Now I didn't have any vital things or services running on the virtual machine manager, so I could always rebuild them from scratch if I needed. But if you had data in there, like I said before, you'd want to make sure you back up the data on your virtual machines. Okay, I'll hit open here. It says one host has an error there. Let me close this and open it back up. Okay, so this is up and running now. So I have zero running. I had one running before. I'll leave it down. I don't need it up. And then I had Docker. Let's see if Docker is up and running. Looks like I just have my speed test up and running. That might be right. Okay, so now we're upgraded to DSM-7. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to go through and just make sure everything works. You know, check out, say, Synology Drive, your virtual machines, your Dockers, things like that. Make sure your files are in the places that you expect them to be. You know, double check your backups. And if you have problems, you'd want to search online to see if other people are having those problems and see if they've come up with some resolutions for them. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.